If you're new here, please subscribe and click on the notification button. Okay, people, so today is Zuriel's graduation day. Uh, our only son, as you know, we only have one son. And today is graduating from PP2 to grade one. So the, we have a CBC system here in Kenya. So you go through playgroup, PP1, PP2, and then that's when you graduate to grade one. So he has finished all those three classes. That's three years of classes. And now he's going to grade one. We are so excited and we are so happy to introduce you also to his school because we want you to bring your children here. At Faith Emuna Academy. Emuna Faith Academy. Emuna Faith Academy in Nairobi. It's one of the best schools there is. And education without the word of God is actually just the world's wisdom and they have got the best teachers the best school environment and it's very hands-on approach so for Zuriel graduating um, I think it's um, preschool preschool PP2 is preschool and then he's joining grade one next term or next year so we're excited and it's a chance for all of you to see the celebration and also for those who are in Nairobi or in Kenya to see the school and meet some of the teachers and maybe consider sending your students uh, i mean your children here all right yeah so the motto of the school is raising a godly seed and so we impact uh they impact <laughs> the children with the word of god and you're able just to have the word of god environment together with the parents so anyway we don't want to talk much we just want you to see and for yourself how the children will be the performances the scriptures they'll recite and all that is courtesy of their school in Nina faith academy right in south b on mukoma road so please let's go on with the graduation and join us thank you and let's see this O oh God of all creation, yes, is our land and nation. Just to see our children defender, when we cannot be saved. This book of the Lord shall not depart us from the night, and thou shalt meditate day in the end. But thou mayest of the heart to do according to all that is written there. But now a question is asked in Psalms 11 and verse. Very common scriptures we have read here so many times. Psalms 11 and verse 3. If now 
the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous? It is a question. It is a question. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? So we are going back to the foundations. I don't know how you were raised up as a child, but now that's why we are here today because of our children. And we are going back to the foundations. If the foundations are destroyed, let me say the first foundation that we must go back is in John chapter 17. John 17, he says, and this is eternal, and this is life eternal. Let me stop. You know, we like reading the verses quickly. We have to lay a foundation for eternal life. A foundation for eternal life. I'm not talking about if you are asked what is life. Life is the difference from that which is dead. Now, there are so many scriptures I can go through, but I don't want to go through all the scriptures. Life does not consist in the abundance of things. There are those who think that life is to go to Starehe school. There are those who think that life is to go to Harvard University, have a degree. Now, that is not life. Because life is not in the school or church or life is not even in the things, abundance of things. Life is in the foundation. Life is in the foundation. If there's no life in the foundation, then there will be no life in the fruit or what you see and in the future. Where they have interactive activities like Play-Doh, building blocks, which really stimulates the mind because young children are not like university students where you can keep them seated for the whole day and you give them lecture, but they learn as they touch, they learn as they do, and that is why Emuna Faith Academy invests and spends time for the children to learn through touch, learn through activities. Here they are at a bowling alley. As you can see, are completely guided by the staff and the teachers as well as they continue Faith Emuna Academy, there they are, they're having a good time. So we thank also the parents for their support whenever there is an activity to go all the way, the extra mile, to ensure that children are also partaking of these uh, activities. We also have got swimming and horse riding Horse riding is important for the children to have interaction with animals. That is one way they learn about nature when they have first-hand experience with animals, in this case, horses, so that they don't just hear about animals on the books, but they are actually, uh, they get to ride. They even get to ride animals. And the, the other day, they also went to the Nairobi National Park where they got to see the variety of the wild animals, lions, cheetah, leopard, rhino, zebra, elephant, giraffe. But in this case, uh, this was brought to the school grounds where the school makes arrangements. Oh, 
Bicom. Yes, thank you so much, that was wonderful. You may now take your seat. Uh, education, when it became public, it, uh, it reduced every child to one level. That you have 40, 50, 60 children in one school, and you are teaching them math, whether the others understand or don't understand, they just go on. They don't have time to develop the God-given um, giftings and talents of a child. That's why in this school it is a, a difference as a difference. It's a school with a difference. That's why we have invested in teachers. That these teachers are many and able to look after each child spiritually, physically, mentally, and morally. So that in the future we have a child who is uh, um, the godly seed as God has demanded. So that is the uniqueness of this school. So as we invest in the teachers, even if the, st the students increase and we get more parents who would buy in our ideas, we will increase the teachers. We will never have the schools and uh, you mean classes of 30 children. 
uh, where a no child, I mean the child are just a number. We believe that each child is special before God. So this school uh, has taken upon themselves. It is not profit making. You may be seated, you may be seated. And last but not the least, where is the father of this boy, Zuriel Paul Muyu Ocampo? Yes, congratulations. Take your official photo. Uh, the grandmother wants to be there, okay, with the, with the principal, with the family. Okay. to me and uh, now that you're leaving this is my first and I don't know I hope it's not the last graduation next time you're graduating you'll be back here or where you fly to, yes I'll come to Philippines so I or California who knows yeah. I'm sad that you're leaving you're leaving me behind and I think this thing has started hitting me like since Sunday. I haven't been okay. I felt like I felt that emptiness in me like you've already left her. So. <laughs> I'm not only okay, this is a bit. Wow. Wow, Julia. Let's see, this would have so been his character. 